Doctor Who is a British TV show made by the BBC that I never really understood. I mean, I know the basics, there's some kind of cosmic being known as Doctor Who, and he gets into some light-hearted adventures and shenanigans with his pals. And every few seasons, he dies and becomes reborn as a new Doctor Who. He has a sonic screwdriver that seems to be just some kind of magic. He travels around in a spaceship disguised as a foam box called the TARDIS that's a lot bigger on the inside than it looks. His arch nemesis are aliens called the Daleks that look like a combination of a rubbish bin, a Roomba, and a plunger. The whole thing is super cheesy and has a bit of a low budget feel to it, so I've never really been a fan of the Doctor Who TV show. In fact, I'd go as far as to say that I actively dislike it. But despite my personal gripes, Doctor Who has managed to amass a large following of fans all around the globe. But that's the TV show, and this is the video game, and not just any video game. Doctor Who The Edge of Time is a virtual reality video game. So I was very happy when developers made Theory reached out to me and provided me with a review code for the PSVR. Now before I go further into this review, you should know that if you are a Doctor Who fan, you'll likely gain more enjoyment from it than I did. I've no doubt that a million references to the show just flew right over my head and that you Whovians, as I believe you're known, will surely get a kick out of it. Anyway, on to the review itself. Edge of Time is in essence a first person puzzler mixed with some horror and light action and can be played with the move controllers or the DualShock 4. I opted for the moves. The premise is this. You awaken in a London laundress as a nameless, faceless, voiceless and even genderless person. All of this, of course, better allowing you, the player, to feel like you are the star of the show. Before long, you are contacted by Doctor Who, whose voice and likeness is provided by the real current Doctor, Jodie Whittaker. She's in a spot of bother and she requires your help to basically save the universe by acquiring some time crystals. The game doesn't really waste any time and immediately throws you into the puzzling action. You won't even notice tutorial or control prompts popping up on the screen, which is very unusual for a viewer title. This game seems to expect you to know the basics of a PS viewer game at this point. A refreshing change, I think. There are five chapters or stages in this game. Most of them are quite short and they're broken up by some travel time in the TARDIS in between, where the Doctor will fill you in on story details and give you your next objectives. Most of these areas have a couple of puzzles to solve before you move along to the next level. The puzzles themselves are mostly enjoyable, they're the kind that aren't too easy to solve, at first glance at least, and when I did overcome them, after some experimentation, they achieved that greatest of tricks making me feel like I'm a little bit smart, at least momentarily. Now it's not all puzzle solving, the developers did a good job of adding some variety to the gameplay. The Weeping Angel segment, an enemy type that will only move if you're not looking at them, and a fan favourite from the TV show, brought some genuine horror to the game, while the latter stage of the game added in some very light stealth gameplay which felt quite simplistic, as well as an action set piece finale that unfortunately lacked the impact I feel it was intended to achieve. And the main reason for that is because of the movement. When I boosted Doctor Who for the first time, I immediately went into the settings menu and was happy to see I could disable all the comfort settings. I turned on smooth turning, I turned off the blinders and I changed both my walking speed and turn speed to fast. However, fast in this game felt very slow and made me shudder to think how slow the default settings would have been. Your character moves at a snail's pace, whether walking or turning, though I did eventually figure out that if you use both buttons to turn on the move controllers, it will speed up the turn a bit, it still wasn't enough. So when that action set piece did arrive, at the end, it almost felt comical that I was moving so slow. I think the game wanted me to feel like a powerful badass, but instead I felt like an OAP on my way to the post office to pick up my pension. It didn't help that this part of the game was where I experienced blue screen crashes, which I was able to recreate quite easily, and changing the way I played was the only way to progress past that specific segment. But my criticisms with Edge of Time end there. There's a lot to like about this game. I said at the start of the review that the TV show version of Doctor Who felt low budget, but I did not get that impression here. The visuals on show are impressive from the well-crafted title intro to the sharp graphics. 
I didn't have any trouble reading text. Everything looked pretty much as nice as you can expect from a PlayStation VR title. The environmental lighting looked great, the dust and smoke particles were atmospheric, and just the presentation and polish were great. Even the loading screen sees you in a 3D space surrounded by sparks rather than just staring at a flat 2D loading icon. Similarly, the audio impresses, not just musically, but its use of 3D audio in one particular segment about halfway through the game was a real standout moment. Doctor Who Edge of Time is out now for PSVR and costs €24.99 and dollars and $19.99 British sterling. The game only took me between 2 and 3 hours to complete, but I don't necessarily think a short game is a negative. However, I can understand if you'd feel like that's not enough bang for your buck. Gripes aside, my time with Edge of Time was mostly enjoyable and I'm not even a Doctor Who fan, so I can't help but recommend this title to you if you are a fan of the show. As for everybody else, if you're interested, try it. If you don't like how short that playtime is, then maybe wait for a sale.